Okay, now finally, let's talk about uh, interpret uh, interpret. Oh my goodness! Interpret the result of ANOVA. See, ANOVA compare um, three or more groups, right? But wait, how do we interpret the result? Because we don't know. We only know uh, 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 if it is significant. That means um, uh, one or two groups count kind of like a different from the other, right? But which one? Which group is more? Which group is less? Or maybe two more? Um, uh, two are less, or two are more, right? How do we find out? Now, ANOVA will not tell us. ANOVA only tells us, well, yeah, there's some some difference among these groups. But um, uh, I'm not going to tell you where. Um, so, we need to find out. We need uh, to, In order to find out, we need to do further analysis. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> this is beyond the scope of this uh, class. So, all you need to know for the test it's just um, we have two way, uh, we have two ways to handle the situation. First, it's called planned contrast. If we have research support, so for example, we compare these three groups. Uh, go back to this um, uh, self-esteem um, uh, in the final grades, right? So we have three groups: uh, control, self-esteem, and responsibility. Um, after suppose after we find hey, um, ANOVA finds significant difference, all right? We know it's some, uh, somewhere uh, among those groups, um, somewhere it's just, uh, some differences. We don't know where it is. Then uh, we can do the planned contrast if, after reviewing research, we are confident um, uh, uh, the, 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 the past research su suggests a direction. So maybe past research say already suggests, um, you know, probably. Uh, um, uh, self-esteem will be the lowest. Now, if that is the that's the case, uh, then we use a uh, planned contrast. Uh, the good thing about planned contrast is um, it's easier to find things that are significant. Okay. However, as we said, um, um, if we don't have any research support, we just um, you know do it uh, do it kind of like uh, to uh, to see what will happen, but we don't have past research. Um, uh, as a base, then we need to do something called post hoc. Um, and post hoc is more strict. It's less likely to find um, a significant difference because um, uh, the, the, the standard is higher. Right? Um, uh, to do that, is, um, the purpose of post hoc is because um, we don't want to find something significant just by chance. Again, type 1 error. Okay, so post hoc I'll control the uh, uh, type one error. So all you need to uh, remember um, is just some um, plain contrast. If we have research support, post hoc if no um, research support. Okay. Um. So all you know if um, uh, you find um, a significant difference uh, uh, from this ANOVA test, then all you need to say is um, uh, the three groups are significantly different on. Well, in our cases, it's uh, um, final grades, right? Or uh, how much they like pizza <laughs> or whatever, right? Now, of course, uh, if um, you don't find something significant, in other words, if F, F um, st statistics is uh, equals to one or less than one, right? Uh, it's not significant, then all you need to say is um, the, th the three groups are not significantly different on, um, you know, I don't know, final grades, eating pizza, whatever. Yeah. <clears throat>